Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town. See the beautiful world around. Wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new here, welcome. I am so thrilled you are here. And if you're back, welcome back. You guys know how much I absolutely love and appreciate each and every one of you. Okay, so today's video is going to be a little different. Tonight for supper, we are going out to eat with our church family. Once a month, we do this thing called Grub Club. And we just go out to eat. We find a restaurant that'll seat several 70 people or so. And we go eat and just fellowship with one another. We are a very close, wonderful church family. And I'm looking forward to it. But that means I don't have to cook today. So, for the video today, I thought it would be kind of fun to order a Stitch Fix box. And that's what I did. Now, let me just say that I have a love-hate relationship with Stitch Fix. And I'll probably talk a little bit more about this um, when we unbox everything. But some of my most very favorite items in my closet came from Stitch Fix. But I've also had a lot of dud boxes that I was not happy with. So I'm at that crossroads right now to determine, am I going to continue to occasionally order a Stitch Fix? Now you can get it monthly, but what I like about Stitch Fix is you can get it on demand only when you want it. So I got several way back, uh, back to back to back. And now I've kind of said, well, only when the seasons change, maybe two to three times a year, will I order a Stitch Fix box and it's that time. So I've ordered one. But this one's kind of going to be the deciding factor. Do I continue to do this? It's fun to me. I enjoy getting a box, not knowing what's in it, and having somebody kind of pick it out. It's like Christmas to me. I do enjoy the process. Some of their items are a little pricey, but I have to remember I'm paying for not only the items, which they have some really name brand, good quality items, like I said, some of my most favorite things in my closet came from Stitch Fix. And so you're paying for the quality and you're paying for the service of somebody coordinating these outfits and sending them to you. So anyway, this will be the deciding factor. The last couple boxes I had, I think I may have kept one thing out of each of them, but um, I haven't been pleased with. So, all right. If you're interested in getting a Stitch Fix box, I will leave a link below that will get you a discount if you've never tried Stitch Fix before. It'll not only get you a discount, but it'll give me a little um, incentive too uh, off my next box if I so choose to get another box. So we're going to wait and see. I do pay for every box I get. This is They don't send me a box for free. I just get a link, which you will also get a link, and you can share it with a friend. And if they use it, you get a discount. So it's kind of one of those things, um, a referral program type thing. Okay, so I am, I have, I've washed my hair, but I haven't really styled my hair. So uh, it may get crazy during this trial and thing. So I'm going to back up to yesterday, which is where I unboxed the Stitch Fix box. We're going to back up to yesterday. While you're watching that, I'm going to go get the first outfit on. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Well, I'm sure you already know by now because I've done like a hello and a greeting that this portion of the video is being filmed prior to the trial. And so um, but today, as you already know, is the Stitch Fix Day and we're just unboxing on this portion and then I'll be right back with the trial which for me will be a totally different day because I do want to have makeup on and at least try to look my best for you guys for the trial. Now this is a very important trial and haul for me and Stitch Fix. Me and Stitch Fix have a love-hate relationship. Occasionally I love their boxes 
and occasionally I hate their boxes. The last two or three have not been good fits for me. So this will be a deciding factor box. Will I ever try Stitch Fix again or will I cut ties and not do it anymore? Um, I, th there are, you know, Stitch Fix does have some pricey items, but that's, they also have some very high quality items and I don't have to go shopping for them. Um, some, and, and to me, there's a little bit of uh, worth the pay just for the excitement of getting a box that you don't know what's in it. So let me grab my drink because I am thirsting to death and um, then we will get right into this Stitch Fix box. If you hear a roar in the background, that is my attic fan. I have my windows open. I have not had my windows open in months because it's been so hot, but it's still hot today, but it's cooler than normal. And so I put have my attic fan on and there is no sound in the world that is more calming and soothing than that attic fan. <laughs> so anyway, if you're unfamiliar with Stitch Fix, Stitch Fix is a styling subscription box. Um, you send what you want, your sizes, your style, your preferences, and then they send you five items. If you buy all five, you get a discount. Um, and um, if you've never tried them, I do have a link. I will share my link down in the description below. And if you choose to use my link for the first time, you do get a discount as well. I think it's 25% or something like that. But, and I do as well. So it's a, you know, it's a thank you, Leslie, and a welcome to you. So, okay. So let me show you my bundle. I did ask for fall colors and I definitely see fall right here because I'm ready to start transitioning. I see two denim pieces, uh, maybe a sweater. And so, yeah. Um, so far, so good. They do send you a return mailer, self-addressed. It costs you nothing to send it back. You just have to put it in the bag, basically, and seal it up and take it to your either post office or your mailbox. All right. Then they send you this little card that has, um, has style and ways to style your outfits. And so... And then, of course, your invoice that has all of your prices. So hang on just a second. I see Bryant pulling up. We'll stop this, and I'll be right back. I'm not sure where I was, but they send you this card that shows you how to style and ways of styling your outfits. And um, then, of course, they send you the lovely invoice. Wow. Okay. It's not a cheap box but from the total I saw. I didn't look at individual items. But, okay, let's go ahead and just look at what we've got. And then, of course, I'll try it on for you. For you guys, it'll be just a second. For me, it'll be tomorrow. Okay. So the first item, it looks like an off the shoulder, or it looks like it could be both, uh, either a broad neck or an off the shoulder um, blouse with a little peephole tie on sleeve. Sometimes they bother me, sometimes they don't. This flopping around, sometimes um, the print it's almost like a, it's a leaf. I thought it was almost a star, but it's a leaf. The top looks like it might be short. I'm not sure. And let's see what we're made out of. It's, it's not a super duper soft. It's kind of a rough, almost polyester type feel. So let's see here. I can't read it. Ooh. 
it looks like it's all in Chinese. <laughs> I don't know what it's made out of. But I'll tell you the brand. Oh, it's a Michael Kors. It's a Michael Kors. Now, why can I not see what fabric it's made out of? Give me just a minute. We're going to figure this out. Maybe. There's like several layers with all different um, languages. Okay. 98% poly, 98 polyester, 2% elastane. It is machine wash cold, tumble dry low, warm iron, or dry clean. So, okay. I, I can see myself wearing that. Um, I probably would not wear it off the shoulders unless it was date night or something like that. But, um, yeah. I could do that. Okay. This is so pretty. I love the print on this. Very fall. Oh, it's a dress. It's a cute dress. A little shorter. In fact, if, sorry, I'm covering up my mic. But if that's the waistband, that looks like it cinches. Looks like you can cinch the waist right here. Um, if that's the waist, it may be a little too short. It may be something I have to wear with leggings or tights or something like that. Um, they showed it, I think, with a pair of tall boots. I don't have any tall boots. Um, I used to, but I don't now. But that would be super duper cute. Yeah, that would be really cute. Okay, um, so I do, I love this print. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it is a Daniel Rain dress. Let's see the sleeves. I always like to see the sleeves. I'm a sleeve fanatic for some reason. And let's see if I can tell you what it's made out of. It's lined. It is fully lined. That's nice. Um, a hundred percent rayon. The lining is a hundred percent polyester. So, okay. That, well, there's two things I like. I don't know that this will flatter me. I don't know. I, I'm funny with dresses. Dresses, they either make me look frumpy or they're flattering. One or the other. There's no really in between with me on dresses. So, um, I'm not sure. Another fall color. Can y'all tell I'm getting ready for fall? This is so soft. Oh my goodness. And it's sometimes sweaters itch me and this does not feel itchy. I'm trying to figure it out though. Okay, here's the neckline. I couldn't figure out what that was the neck. It looks a little short. Um, but beautiful buttons down one arm oh that's kind of cool down one arm it's a dolman a dolman style which i like in a way but since this is short if i raise my arm i'm afraid the side will come up and show my skin but we'll see okay it is a faith and zoe i think that's the name of it faith and zoe yep faith and zoe and let's see i don't think there's any acrylic in this i don't feel the acrylic if there is 52 percent viscose 28 percent polyester 20 percent nylon so i can definitely wear this and not worry about itching so okay um well so far this box is not half bad now, they did send some denim, and I have been wanting light denim forever and cannot find it. And now here it is. 
and they sent me two. <laughs> this one is uh, just a raw hem and it's a wide leg. It's by Democracy, y'all. I love Democracy. Love it. They look like they may be a little big. Maybe not. But, um, yeah, we'll see. This is Curve Equality. It's an Absolution High Rise Wide Leg Cropped Jeans. It won't be cropped on me. <laughs> I'm telling you now. It won't be cropped. Um, but, that is super cute. I will definitely try those on. And, oh, these are cute. Oh, these are super cute. Look, it's got some like almost embroidery look to it or cross stitch. That actually looks like cross stitch. Look at this, y'all. That's like cross stitch on denim. That is crazy. It's by Democracy as well. It's another absolution. I'm loving these. High rise absolution embroidered fray hem jeans indigo 12. I would not call this indigo. I would call this light washed. Um, to me, indigo is much darker. But, and there's the, I like this hem, this raw frayed hem much better than just the raw cut hem. I think that just looks unfinished. This looks like it's meant to be this way. But, okay. And so the embroidery is on both legs, both hips, a lot on this hip, a little on this hip, and down at the bottom of that leg. None at the bottom of this one. So, um, cute. I'm excited. I, w I didn't think I was going to be excited. I was already planning to not like anything. So, okay, so I'll see you for me tomorrow, for you in just a second for the trial. Okay, everyone, let me make sure the mic is on. I've laid it down there so it's not on my clothes. But here is this first top. I paired it with a pair of pants that I'm almost sure I got out of Stitch Fix. And I know for a fact the shoes I have on. I don't know if you can see them, but I know they have come out of Stitch Fix and they're one of my favorite pair. Although I need a pedicure or something awful, so I'm not gonna zoom in. So I like this top. It's really cute. It's not as short as I thought it was gonna be. It's super cute. I like it, but I do think these little things right here would drive me nuts. Uh, I probably maybe could tack them up somehow but I think this is a great date night. Um, not very flattering per se, but I think it's super cute. And I could definitely see myself wearing it. Wow, these lights are super bright. Let's see if I can knock them down a notch. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, um, I like this. Um, would I wear it? I don't know. I don't know. It's not something that I am just in desperate need of in my closet. It's definitely, I'm trying to get back here to the mic. It's not something I definitely need in my closet. Um, but it would be kind of a fun item. But I don't know how much wear I would get out of it. So we'll wait and see exactly how much it is or if it even pays to buy all five items so all right this is it for the first let me turn around so you can see the back um the only thing that i don't like about it is these things and i mean i could deal with that for a little cute date night shirt but like i said it depends on how much it is how much the total box discount would be and so forth. So, okay, we're going on to try on something else. Well, everyone, I am in a pair of the Democracy jeans. I'm trying to put on fall colors with everything. I love these jeans. These are the actual wide-legged ones. I don't know, you may have to zoom in, but um, I love them. 
I love the color. I love, I, actually they feel perfect. Here they are in the back. Um, there's not much distressing, just a little bit right here on this knee. And like I said, it's the raw hem. I'm not really fond of the raw hem, but it's okay. I'm going to turn the camera down just a little bit and come up here with these bright lights and let you see these jeans a little closer up. You see dust and fingerprints all over my coffee table. <laughs> it's okay though, but I really like these jeans. They may be a tad bit big. I probably should have got a smaller size. And I did, usually in the fall, I up my size one um, just because I like looser clothes so I can layer. But that's normally in the tops, not necessarily the jeans. But um, I must have sized up in everything. So I really like these. I don't know if I'll keep them or maybe see if I can go down a size. But they feel great. I don't know what they look like, but they feel amazing. So, okay, on to the next outfit, and I'll do my jeans and my other sweater together because I'll probably put on tights with that dress because I have a feeling that dress is super short. I hope you guys can hear me because I'm not bringing the mic with me. Maybe I should. I'll probably wear, put on tights with the dress just to see because I, I don't know it may be super short and it may not and I have varicose veins really bad in my legs and so I'm pretty self-conscious of my legs although I do wear shorts I don't hide and not wear shorts or anything but especially in a dress I'm pretty you know I want to hide those varicose veins I need to have them fixed so all right let me go try on the other jeans and the sweater and then on to the dress Y'all, right when I thought I was absolutely going to give up on Stitch Fix, they sent me a wonderful box. What in the world? Okay. Did y'all hear that? I said right when I was getting ready to give up on Stitch Fix, they go and send me a wonderful box. So let's talk about the sweater first. I love it. I absolutely love it love it i think it is super flattering on me um and i can raise my arms and it doesn't come up so uh, i love the button detail i love this box i love this box the only uh, i really love the jean the two jeans and this sweater these are my favorite items so far so we're gonna see um we're just gonna see. So let me show you the jeans. Let me turn down and show, oh, let me show you this sweater in the back. The button detail, the dolman sleeves. Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, so here are the jeans. Has the embroidery right here. Has the raw hem, the frayed hem. The other one had the raw hem and they were wide leg. These are more skinny cut. Um, but with beautiful embroidery detail, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I think it's gorgeous with this sweater. I, I, I love it. There is nothing I don't love about it. I love it. <laughs> I wanted so bad for this to be a dud box. And to be honest with you, I looked at the preview they sent, and they send you a preview of what they're sending, and you can say, nah, I don't like that, nah, I don't like that, nah, I don't like that, and they send you like seven items in the preview. So I only kept like, I think these jeans and um, the dress in my preview and told them, nah, I don't want anything. Well, after you say you don't want it, you don't know what you're going to get, and they don't send you another preview. But when it shows up in the mailbox, even before you go get your mailbox, you can go and look and do the checkout thing and see. Well, when I saw what they sent, I was like, well, this is going to be a dud box and I'm going to send it all back. I love it. I mean, I wasn't like over the moon over that blouse, the first blouse, but hey, it was doable. It fit. It's cute. I could definitely wear it. 
Um, and if buying it makes my box cheaper, then yeah, I will. So let me go try on the dress. It's going to have, I'm going to, I don't know. I'm going to try it on without the leggings and see what I think. And then if I need tights, not leggings, but tights, if I need the tights, I'll add them on. So let me go change clothes. But hey, I don't know. Did I show you everything on the jeans? Let me turn it down one more time so I can be sure y'all have seen it. There's the embroidery. Isn't that cute? Here they are in the back. I love them. I love democracy jeans. Yes, you do pay a little extra for democracy, but oh my goodness, do I ever love them. Them and Judy Blue. Oh, love me some Judy Blue jeans and democracy jeans. Love them. Absolutely. And, and is it Vigos? I love my Vigos jeans. There's several pairs of jeans I have that, or brands that I love. And, um, but democracy is at the top of the ladder when it comes to my jeans. So, okay, I'm going to go try the dress on. I'll be back. Hopefully, well, I don't know. Do I say hopefully I like it? Because if I buy all five, I get a better deal. I don't know. We'll see. Daggone, y'all. Daggone. <laughs> well, here it is. And I can cinch the waist up a little bit more. I just grabbed a pair of tights that there's actually design on them. I didn't know there was till I had them on. And I thought, I'm not fighting these things and taking them off. But as you can see, this dress is fully lined all the way. Yep, all the way. And um, I think they, in the pamphlet they sent they sent um that some tall boots i think some tall boots would be adorable with this um even some cowboy boots i don't have any cowboy boots that's not really my style but um and i don't even have any nice black shoes i just grabbed these and i haven't worn these since i've lost weight and these are like way too big so I just grabbed some black shoes. So I'll definitely have to add shoes to go with this dress. And I think I would add the tall boots, maybe in brown or kind of like the caramel color. What do they call that? Um, cognac or I'm not sure what they call it, but um, what am I gonna do y'all? If I get this whole box, Brian's gonna kill me. <laughs> All right, let me change clothes. We'll come back and we'll talk about the cost. We'll look at see what all the items. We'll see what it'll cost if I get the whole box because of the discounts. I don't know. We'll see. But y'all, I was so hoping they would send me, not really hoping they would send me a dud box, but I was ready to cut ties had they sent me a dud box. But this is anything but a dud box. I know I love four items out of this box. Absolutely love four items and kind of like the fifth item. <sighs> what shall I do? All right, let me go change and we'll come back and we'll talk about it. <sighs> what to do, what to do, what to do. I have no clue what to do. So, but this may help us decide um, but first, let me tell you, I get asked all the time, especially when I'm wearing my glasses, about my contacts. Why am I not wearing my contacts very often? Well, we've ordered, you know, the one pair came in. I've learned how to put them in. I've learned how to take them out. But I missed my appointment going back um, to tweak any prescription. And I will say, I don't see quite as well with my contacts in as I do with my glasses. And so sometimes it's just easier for me to wear my glasses than it is so i do have a doctor's appointment after we sell chickens which is on into september i will go back and he may tweak the prescription a little bit i'm not sure but they do work great for filming and as long as i don't have to read so i may have to hit pause and go find some glasses <laughs> but i do have my contacts in today so okay let's talk about um let me find that shirt okay the michael kors Galen off the shoulder in black. Um, it, the cost of that 
it's a Michael Kors, so that ought to tell you something. It's $88. First, let me go ahead and tell you, the total box was $406. If I buy all five with the 25% discount, that brings it down to $304. Plus my $20 goes, you're, you're, it costs $20 to get a box, but that $20 goes towards any purchase. And I had, a, it says a promo or other credit. I don't think I had any referral credits left, so I'm not sure. Stitch Fix does offer promo credits often. So um, anyway, my total box, if I kept everything with the credits, with my $20 fee, and with the discount for buying all five, my total would come to $254. So for all of those items, that total does not sound bad to me. Um, let, let me do some math real quick. I'll be right back. So if I kept all five items and the total was $254, that brings each item to about $50 a piece. Well, the jeans in and of themselves are like $90 jeans. I know that because I love democracy jeans. I don't have a lot of them because of the price, but I do know they are costly. And we know Michael Kors is. All these are name brand items. So um, really when you think about it and you think about the brand that you're getting and the cost that it normally is, I guess $50 a piece is not bad at all. So, um, but $254 is a lot to swallow at one time, especially for clothes, but we'll see. I'll let Bryant watch the try on haul. I'll let him watch the video before I decide and he'll let him help me decide. I won't let him help me decide because I know what he'll decide. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so that shirt, the, the one I liked the least, the first thing I tried on was $88. Um, and let's see here, what did I try on next? I tried on the wide leg pants, the Democracy Absolution High Rise Wide Leg Pants in indigo and they too were $88 like I said a $90 pair of jeans I, I totally get that that's the common price for democracy I get it you can find democracy in Marshalls and TJ Maxx for hugely discounted prices I just don't know if I could find the style that I was looking for and so forth all right um, then I tried on the democracy high-rise absolution embroidered jeans they too were $88 um the faith and zoe tibby dolman sleeved rib sweater in mustard was 64 it was the least out of everything it was $64 and the daniel rain macy dress in they called that mustard i'm not sure i would have called that mustard maybe a rust but they called it mustard anyway it was $78. So, I love this box, y'all. I loved it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. You'll have to stay tuned and I'll tell you if I kept all five or what I kept. Or you may just see them in a video. But, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. But, um, the, the, like I said, the first top, the off-the-shoulder top was my least favorite i wasn't over the moon for it but it's one of those things does keeping it make the box worth it if i'm keeping all the other four but paying full price for them um it's better for me to keep that blouse you know what i'm saying so i got a lot to think about a lot of things about think about y'all judah had a great first day at school yesterday he's actually with me today he's back there in the bedroom uh, watching television uh, the way they do kindergarten down here is in north carolina or in randolph county anyway um, he goes half of the students in the kindergarten class go the first day half the other half go the second day and so so forth so today is his day with bubbles so um, he got here bright and early because Caroline's days are having to start much earlier, much, much earlier now. And uh, we'll go pick Levi up from daycare in a little while. 
and then we'll head to Grub Club. And then on Facebook tonight, I have a Bible study on the Farm and Pastor's Wife Facebook page tonight. Um, this is Tuesday night, September 29th at, I think I said it for 8.30. So um, if, you're, if you get this video before that time, if you're watching this video, please join us over at, on Facebook, the Farm and Pastor's Wife. If you don't have one, that's fine. Um, we'll, we'll, you get the couch time on, on Sundays. So, um, but we will be doing a Bible study. It's a topical Bible study and it is a surprise topic. Sometimes I find that if I share the topic ahead of time, people think, well, I don't need that or that doesn't affect me. But really something that may be said during the Bible study may affect you and it may still be good for you to be there. So, um, I try not to share the topic ahead of time, but it's going to be an interesting topic. A very interesting topic that we all have had either trouble with being a recipient or a giver of <laughs> um, uh, of it. And so we're going to talk about how to if how to take care of it if you give it and how to take care of it if you receive it. So um, and, and this will make more sense when you watch the video or when you join in the Bible study. If you d miss it live then you can definitely um, watch the replay. So, all right, I will see you guys in a little bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye here. I don't think this video will have much more because I'm not going to do any cooking. I'm really going to start cleaning and finish up the laundry and just spend a day, another day with Judabug. So, all right, I will see you guys next time on The Farm and Pastor's Wife. Hey, next week we start fall recipes. I'm so excited. Actually, we're going to do one this week. In fact, Thursday's video is going to be a fall recipe only because Jamie has requested it for his birthday meal. Um, it's the dessert for his birthday meal. He's not getting strawberry cake this year. Y'all, I've made that child strawberry cake every year for his birthday, but he has requested something else this year. So um, we are doing him a different and it's actually a fall recipe. So Okay, I will see you guys next time on The Farm and Pastor's Wife. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all. Hang on, everybody. Somebody else wanted to come tell you if the grease is hot enough. Let me get this turned down here for you, bud. If the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. You can fry anything. Bye, y'all. And hey, you want to close out with your mama's closing? Yeah. Jesus? Yeah. Say it. Jesus loves you and so do we. <laughs> All right. So you got a little bit of Caroline in this video. All right. See you next time. Bye, y'all. It's hot enough. You can fry anything. You can fry anything. Bye, y'all. And hey, you want to close out with your mom?